Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I am good. Thanks. And you? Okay. Good. Ready to start. My next, the next, I mean, the next sixty minutes, right? Getting ready. Yes, to see what's going on. How was your day? You are you are in New York, you told me last time, right? No, we're in Washington. It is? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm, yes. Okay. How long have you been there? How much time? Uh, two months. Two months. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to be there permanently or just? No. <laughs> no. No. Just a couple of months, one year, two years. <laughs> <laughs> and then come back. It's very cold, right? It's very cold. Yeah. Today is, is cold because it is the. Um, no, um, no nieve, pero sí agua. <laughs> yes, no snow. Yes, no snow, but water. No snow. Mm -hmm, it rains. Yes, I guess that probably in uh, January, February is when there is a lot of snow. It depends on the winter. Right? Eh, es diferente cada año. Mm -hmm. Yes. He estado otros años, sí. Y sí. <laughs> yes. Y sí, este, ya he visto la nieve, pero... Con ganas. <laughs> yes. Sí. sí, depende del, del invierno también, right? Hay unos inviernos que son duros, right? Y sí. otros que son más relax. Okay, so, ojalá que este sea suave, sea mild, benevolent. Okay. All right, so let me... Share the um, share, share, share um, here. This is the one. This is the one we need. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so yesterday we stopped after the daily schedules, right? And today, I think we have a reading exercise. Okay, it says in this lesson, participants will read an article about jobs and in order to practice their reading comprehension for specific information, some questions are asked. Okay, first we're going to see the, the questions. And then we're gonna go to the reading. And we are going to see what these people say why do you need a job and there are <clears throat> three questions right one uh, about Theresa one about Karen and one about Lamar okay so then uh, we're going to read this information 
and after we're going to to discuss okay here we have the say why do you need why do you need a job okay in your personal opinion why do you need a job robert why do you work what why do you need a job what do you do you need why a job? Why? Uh, why 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 do you why do you need a job mm -hmm. scan the, the no but in your, I mean, in your no in your in your opinion uh, in your personal case a, a que se dedican? no why why is por qué? why do you por need qué? what do you need a job why do you have the necessity to work ah uh, yeah okay why do you need a job ¿Por qué necesito trabajar, eh, va? Uh -huh. O por qué así es, ¿verdad? Yeah. What do you need? Why do you work? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And in your case? Why do you work? What is your what is your answer? What is your personal answer? Okay, for example, I, I, am, I, I, am a, I am a lawyer. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, for example, I, I, I work because I, I need to pay the rent, I need to pay the house, I work because I need to, to give education to my children, uh, I work because I need to, uh, to buy my clothes to buy food to what else to to pay my credit card okay to to live to have vacation to rest okay this is the the reasons the reasons why mm -hmm. people need a job okay some people work because they need to study others because they need to pay a house or buy a house okay and in your case what are your cases i work in the supreme court of Jews in the el salvador mm -hmm. yeah but pero por qué uh, necesita trabajar that's the idea why por qué necesitamos en general por qué trabajamos why do we need to work I need money. Uh -huh. For the money. Exactly, because we need money. Right? Because we need money. Because we want to live better. Queremos vivir mejor, right? Uh, because, and it's, and it's not bad, right? No está mal querer vivir bien, right? O mejor, right? The idea is to, but honestly, right? Uh, what else? Beatriz, why do you need a job? Mm, because I uh, uh, save money. Okay, because I need to save money. Okay, that's a good reason too. Flor, why do you need a job? Why do you want to work? No? Okay. And probably she's trying to connect. Okay, good. So then these are, for example, when we say, why do you need a job? Is because I need money, because I uh, need to save money okay I need to pay my debts my deudas right and let's see in the case of uh, say scan the profiles 
who is in high school, who is in college, and who is in a new apartment. These people need jobs, read about their schedules, experience, and why they need a job. Okay? Then, uh, the three, can you read the first one about Theresa class, please? I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all day on Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on Tuesday and Thursday morning, I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. Okay, good. In this case, Teresa Glass needs a job because she wants to pay the college, okay? Because college is very expensive, okay? Good. And it is. Can you please read Karen Thomas? Karen Thomas. My husband and I have a new baby. He makes a good salary but uh but we don't save very much money we want to save some money to buy a house i take care of the baby so i need a job i can do at home i i know i know i know how to take I, and I have a computer. Okay, very good. So, Karen Thomas, okay, uh, probably says, uh, my husband and I have a new baby. Okay, the, the husband has a good salary. Okay, but they need to save more money. So, she wants to save money. Karen Thomas needs to save money. Okay, good. Then, uh, Robert, can yeah. you read about Lamar Andrews, please? Okay. I am 16 now, and I don't get an allowance, allowance. From, my from my parents anymore. I need to earn some money because I like to go out on the weekend with my friend. I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3 13 p.m. My father, no sé cómo se pronuncia, owns, owns, owns a restaurant. So I know a little about restaurant work. Okay, very good. So I know a little about restaurant work. Good. So then uh, Lamar needs money or needs a job to to go out with friends, right? To have fun, to party, okay? That's what he needs. Uh, questions about vocabulary, people? Any questions with Teresa, Karen, or Lamar? What is allowance? Uh, it's the, como la mesada, right? The money that you receive from your parents, you know, a month, okay? The mi mesada, right? $40, $50, $60, $10, dollars $100, depends, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Good. What else? Only? Okay, let's see the the answers here. We says it. Uh, we read this one it says there is Teresa needs a job too. Okay, to earn money for college, to save money, or to buy a house. Air money. Air money. Air money for college because college is expensive. 
Karen. Karen needs a job too. To buy money. a house. Buy a house. To buy a house. Save, save money. Save money, right? Save money. Yeah, I guess. Let me see. She said here to save. Well, actually, to save money to buy a house, right? Mm -hmm. We want to save money to buy a house. Then, what is the the goal? Buy a house, right? Yes, probably to buy a house. But first, to need money, and that's right. And the other one? Go out on the weekend. <laughs> Go out on the weekend. Okay. So, you know, the, in the case of uh, Lamar, he's, he just wants to have fun, right? Okay, then in this one, in the number two, wait, you've got it stuck. Okay, there we go. Okay, the first thing that she wants to do with the money is to to save, right? And after, when they save enough money, they are going to buy a house. The immediate purpose, the immediate goal is why? A, for example, when you have a, a purpose for something is why why do we eat? Okay, why do we eat? ¿Cuál es el propósito? Why do we eat? ¿Por qué comemos? Why do we drink water? Por salud. Uh -huh. To be, to be a, for health. Uh -huh, to be healthy, correct? Then, cuando se da el propósito de algo es to. Okay? And then, mm -hmm. for example, you have a to. Why do we eat? To. Cuando queremos dar razones, then we say because. Because we are hungry. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Because we need to, we need to eat because we feel hungry. Eso ya es una razón, right? No es un propósito, right? But pero el propósito es to, eh, like, uh, let's say in this case, to be healthy, right? Eh, when she says uh, she wants to, they need a job because they want to save money. ¿Para qué quieren el dinero? To buy a house, right? El, de, el propósito final es the house. Entonces, why, con la pregunta why, podemos dar razones or decir el, por, el, the purpose, the, the propósito, right? Of intention that we have, okay? So, lo que si vamos a decir, el, my goodness, I can't say in Spanish, Pro, propósito, right? The purpose, you use to. For example, why do you, why do we sleep? To rest, right? To rest. Uh, why do we take a shower? Uh, to be clean. Okay? Or to clean our body, that's why we take a shower. So then this is the, like the main purpose, right? Why do we take a shower? Uh, because the society uh, looks bad at the people who smell bad when they don't take a shower. So these are like reasons, right? Give more explanations. Okay? Then, no more questions? Preguntas? Questions? Complaints? Yes. Yes, Flor? No, teacher, no questions. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, so then uh, this is the end of this one. Uh, now we see our next topic.
Okay, the next topic is the section three. Okay, uh, on Friday, on fr el viernes le vamos a dar una mirada al, al midterm exam, al examen de medio, el midterm de medio curso. Ahí hay un midterm exam. Vamos a dar una revisión así rápida para ver si no hay algún problema, ¿ok? Los que se puedan adelantar y hacerlo, no problem, ¿ok? El viernes si tienen preguntas, podemos verlas. Ok. In this topic, we are going to see conversation about demonstrative, demonstrative pronouns while shopping, right? Demonstratives are those that say this, that, these, and those. Okay. So then, now we're going to go shopping. Ah, you like shopping, right? The problem with shopping is the the money. Okay, they are perfect for you. Okay, this is the topic of the conversation. Okay, now just um, let me share the sound of the computer. Here we go. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. <clears throat> Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay. Any questions? Take a look at the... No, com the yellow ones. Oh. Okay, take a look at the conversation and see if you have any questions. What is necklace? Necklace. Necklace. Is what you put around your neck, okay, with uh, diamonds, okay, it's jewelry, okay? Uh, for example, if you see in the picture, this one, these are earrings for the earrings are for the ear, right? The bracelet is for the wrist, and the necklace is for your neck. Okay, okay teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember earrings for the ears, ring for the finger. Okay, then we have the bracelet for the wrist, the necklace. Okay. Good. Now let's see, we have Steve and Maria. Okay. Uh, Robert, you are Steve and Iris, you are Maria. Okay. Please okay. read the conversation. Oh, look at those early, Maria. They are perfect for you. This red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Ones, the yellow ones. One. ones. The yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow is not really a good color for me. Well, the necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is this? Is it? How much is this? It? Mm -hmm. It's for 42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. 
Thank you. Oh. Okay. That's correct. Thank you. Okay, Beatrice, you are Steve, and Flor, you are Maria. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're for you. These red ones? Red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these. Mm, yellows isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, good. So then, uh, any questions? No, teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, uh, Robert. One, one, once. Mm -hmm. así, así es. Yes, once. One, once. Once. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. One, once. Okay. Thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, Billy, you are Steve, and Carmina, you are Maria, okay? Hi, Billy. Hello, Carmina. Are you there, guys? No? Okay, they are silent. Okay, good. Well, if you can uh, probably have problems with it, with their microphone or something. Okay, good. Okay, now listen. Pay attention to the pronunciation again. ...to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay. So this is the introduction to the pronouns. Now, the next one says, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns. This, these, that, and those. Okay, to express possible, possible selections, possible choices. Okay, now look in the practice and the listen to the explanation. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, those, to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. 
I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This singular near, these plural near, that singular far, those plural far. Therefore, we use is for this and that and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. Okay. By the end of this lesson, these the, to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will <clears throat> now look at the images. Okay, for example, how much is this necklace when you have contact, right? Say, look at this, look at this mouse, look at this uh, telephone or cell phone. And that is when you don't have contact with the object, okay? It says that necklace. And one is the same meaning of necklace, but you use it as a pronoun to substitute the word necklace. Okay, listen again to the explanations and then write down the questions, apunten las preguntas that you have, and then you can ask me later. Okay, just let me hear. Listen to the audio program first. Try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four this these that those i know you have studied this before so we will make a quick review this singular near these plural near that singular far those plural far therefore we use is for this and that and are for these and those in english we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. Okay. $15. Any questions from here? No questions. No questions, okay. And... Prices. Those, plural, far. Therefore, then, when talking about choosing or having more... And from here? Because these are the, like, the first one and these ones are like, like the most important things, right? You're talking about which one, how much is this, how much is that. And here when we are using one or ones. Okay, remember that when we say which one is because we have options, right? For example, I can say, uh, a, I cannot hear very well with my one of my ears, okay? 
and they say with one of my ears I have two ears the left ear and the right ear and then you say which one ah, okay my my left ear okay I have a problem with my left ear so because you have the option of the right one or the left one okay if you have a say one of my one of my cars right one of my cars is broken you say which one are uh, the yellow one the red one the blue one okay so you give a reference okay more than one option for example I ask is that your car which one the red one or the blue one the red one yes it is the words one or once always go at the end of the question and answers and they replace the noun in question the noun in question okay here okay let's do some practice in the knowledge check with this Okay, it says look at the picture below and complete these conversations using the demonstrative demonstratives one and once. Okay, take a look at this. Who is the who is the clerk? Quién es la dependiente? This one, right? This is the clerk. And this is the okay. This is the client. Yes. Okay, you can see it here better. Okay, so this lady is the woman in the shop and this one is the client. Here you have the man is the client and you can see here the woman, right? The clerk. Okay, if you see this picture, my God. Oh, here it is. Okay, excuse me, how much then you can ask a question here with are these, are those, or is those? Are those. Are those. Are those, right? Because for jeans. The distance. Plural. Uh -huh, the distance too is those. And the plural is jeans, are. Okay. And then the woman in green with the green blouse is she says which it's a con the continuation of this. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? And then look at the options. She has many options. Okay, and then she says which once which once because they are talking about the genes and it's plural right which ones which genes then no the light blue The light blue. Once. Once, okay, the light blue ones. Because there is a sequence. They are talking about the genes, okay? How much are those genes? Which ones, which genes? Do you mean this, these genes? There's no 
the light blue ones. Okay, because she's pointing to the blue ones. Okay, está apuntando las azules and she says the light blue ones. Not this, this. Okay. Then. Oh. Plural, they. Uh -huh, they, they, right? They are. It was plural. And if you see, seguimos hablando de los genes, right? How much are those genes? The ones is for genes. Uh, no, the light blue ones is for genes. And how, oh, they are the genes, right? The genes are 59.95. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then I like that backpack. Now it's the other, the other one, right here. I like the black, the backpack, the man. Okay, he's pointing to this one. Okay, they say I like that backpack over there. How much? Is yes, because it's only one. It's singular, right? Is it? And then it says, which one? Look, here was ones because it's plural, but here is only one. So which one? The red? One. The red one. Okay, the red one. And then it's 27.50, but the green. Está hablando de uno, es one. Mm -hmm. It's always one, siempre es uno, right? Then, recuerden que entonces usamos those, ones, they, cuando ya sabemos de qué estamos hablando, right? In this case, was about the jeans. Okay, si se dan cuenta, el jeans solo se mencionó al inicio. Terminó la conversación y no lo volvimos a mencionar. He says, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which ones? Which jeans? Do you mean this? And they said, no, the light blue ones. Oh, they are $59.95. Okay, and this is similar in Spanish, right? Okay, cuanto puede, bueno, in Spanish is, it's different, porque nos, nosotros hasta la boca ocupamos para señalar, right? They say, hey, how much are those? You know, you go like this, right? ¿Cuánto valen esos? Ni siquiera a veces decimos esos jeans, right? Solo señalamos. Then, but it's similar, okay? How much are those jeans? And then how much are those uh, shoes? Okay? And then you say which ones? ¿Cuáles? In Spanish, we only, instead of say which ones, we only say cuáles, right? And... In, in singular, we only say cual, which one, okay? In, in English, it's necessary to use one or ones, okay? Any questions? Hmm. Okay. Now here, for example, the then you can say, for example, now in, if you see this picture, you can say there are two women. There are two women in the picture, right? On the left, this ones. Okay, which one? Okay, which one is, is wearing jeans? Which one is wearing jeans? Okay, cualquiera puede responder. Which one, there are two women in the picture, which one is wearing jeans? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, Beatriz. Which one is wearing jeans? Both. Yeah, those both. Numbers. Correct. Yes, that's right. Yes, I look at that. Both. Okay, both are wearing jeans. Different colors, but jeans. Yes, thank you. And Flor, which one is a carrying a handbag? Which one is carrying a handbag? Yes, Flor, who is carrying a handbag? Which woman? Sorry, teacher. Which woman is carrying a handbag? Which one? Uh, the green blouse. The, the handbag, look. Okay, you can see the one, the one on the left. Okay, the one on the left. Which one? Which woman is carrying a handbag? There are two women, right? Which one is carrying a handbag? The one on the left. You can say the, the black one, right? Okay, then you can use this one. And then you can say the woman or the one with the blouse, long sleeves blouse, right? Long sleeve blouse. So this is the one when you use which one. For example, the do you like the backpacks? You say yes. Which one do you like? I like the green one, I like the gray one, or I like the red one. Okay, I think this one is blue. I like the blue one. Okay. So here we have the practice about one. Look at this one. Listen to the to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. These are some question forms. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. And participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay, good. Uh, Beatrice, read the sentence. Notice that the... Remember that this one is where you the stress, la fuerza oba, and la big ball, right? Excuse me. They're perfect, okay. okay? Go ahead. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Okay. And the first one, the number one and two? Excuse me. They're, excuse me. Mm -hmm. They're perfect. They're perfect. Okay, thank you. It is... Read the four sentences. Okay. 
excuse me. They, they're perfect. I like the blue one. And they, they're not very attractive. 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 They're not yeah. very attractive. Thank you. Robert? Excuse me. They're perfect. I like I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay. And Flor? Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Attractive. Okay, good. Now, uh, Carmina, no problem? Excuse you... me. Okay. They are perfect. I like I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay, they are not very attractive. Thank you, Billy. Can you hear us? No, oh, Billy is up here. Oh. Hey, magic. All right. So then uh, we have this one. Then this is the pronunciation, right? We say, excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one and they're not very attractive. The important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Not. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. All right. And then we have the other one is comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay. Notice how the girls are talking... Vocabulary? No problem with the, with the vocabulary from here, it's clear. Okay, I guess it is. Okay, now we're going to now look at this question. Which one do you prefer? We're gonna talk about preferences. Say, these jackets are really nice. And then you say, which one? Which one do you prefer? Okay, for example, what is something that you like? What is something that you like? For example, do you like pizza, Iris? Yes, I like it. Okay. okay, good. Which one do you prefer? Which pizza? Um, mushrooms. Mushroom, mushrooms one. Okay, the mushrooms one. Okay, mushrooms that is, one. Yes, la de one, la de la de hongos, right? 
You say the mushrooms one, no, the hongos, okay? And Beatriz, do you like music? Yeah, I like. Which, which one or which kind of music do you prefer? Which one do you like? Or which one do you prefer? Salsa. <laughs> Salsa, I don't know. Uh, Total. All of, and then say all of, all of, okay, all kind of music. All music. All kind of music. Okay, if you like that one. All that is no preference. Okay, Floor, uh, do you like, uh, let me see, uh, sodas, do you like sodas? Yes, teacher, I okay. like Okay, which one do you prefer? I prefer the Coca-Cola. Okay, the Coke, right? I prefer Coke. Can you say Coke? Coke. Okay. Well, in English it's Coke, in Spanish it's Coca-Cola, right? Okay. Okay, and what is the one? Colas? Colas are all the Pepsi-Cola, Coca-Cola, and I don't know what okay. Colas. Mm -hmm. Good, Robert. The... Yes. Do you like, uh, do you like, uh, let's say, Latin American girls? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like... Uh, yes, or, <laughs> yes, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Which one, which ones, which ones do you prefer? Um. Salvadorian ones? Ben Colombian, ben ben Venezuelana, Venezuelan, okay, Juanes. Venezuelan ones, okay, the Venezuelan ones, okay, yeah, ah, okay, good, perfect. No Salvadorian women too, okay, they're <laughs> they're very nice and beautiful, good. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, Carmina, sí, okay. Do you like, uh, do you like shoes? Uh, yes, I like. Okay. And which ones do you prefer? Um, es una pregunta difícil para una mujer, ¿verdad? Tenis. Tenis shoes. Yes, tenis shoes. Tenis, tenis shoes. Tenis, tenis. Uh -huh. uh, okay, and you, Flor, which shoes do you prefer? High heels. Tacón alto, right? High heels. Tennis, sandals, uh, flip-flops. Floor. Yes, teacher. Which, you it <laughs> yes. Which, uh, which kind of shoes do you prefer? Tennis. Tennis too, right, good. Beatrice? Mm, the high heels. High heels. High heels. High heels. Yes. And tennis. And tennis. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is, you know, preferences, right? That when you talk about preferences, and then you, uh, you say, for example, which is the, if you have two, two jackets, two pairs of shoes, you have the tennis and the high heels. Which ones do you prefer? And they say the high heel ones, okay? The high heels ones. And you prefer those. And like you say, the blue ones, the black ones, your favorite color, for example, when you're talking about shoes, you can say, I prefer the black ones. I prefer the blue ones. Okay, that's preference. All right. Well, we're going to stop here for today. And then I guess that we're going to have some chance. Let me see for tomorrow to see the the practice of using more comparatives and preferences. Okay, people, so I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Go and rest. Ya casi no va la semana, two days. Okay. You see, Robert? Rapidito, huh? <laughs> Rapidito, yeah. Yes. Very fast. Yeah, very fast, very fast. Okay, well, have a good night. Sleep well. 
Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Good night. God bless you. God bless you too.